good morning. It's Monday, July 19th. July 19th. Yes, have you ordered your magnet or magnets? We have, we have multiple magnets. We have this kind. Lillian on the runway. I love, I love, 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 love this photo. And this is a photo of me, but I like the art on it, but I love this photo, this image. What's happening here today? It is 1111. My name is Jenna Mamina. This show is called 1111 with Jenna. I've been doing it since March 23rd of 2020 and have done over 900 shows and coming up on the thousandth show. Actually, it's not quite 900 because on September 30th, it will be the 1,000th show. 1111 11 AM, 1111 11 PM, Eastern Standard Time, every day, every night, we are here doing something. Sometimes I'm just here talking and you're just here popping on or messaging me or <clears throat> we're learning something or we're asking questions and we are a community. We are a family. And if this is your first time, I'm welcoming you to the family. Yes, it's really bright. Wow, that is so bright. I think I can um, turn the brightness down on that, wouldn't you say? Now, where do I do it in here though? Oh, there. Ah, ah. I know there's that nighttime. I like that nighttime thing. I don't remember where it is right now. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's okay, Apple. Thank you. I said I'm using other things. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh no, I have it on dark. Okay. So anyway, I am here and let me just make sure that I am okay. Um, let me just get back up to me for one second and then it's all about you. I just want to make it so it's it's privacy is edited and it is public. For some reason, Facebook just doesn't. It's all about you. Julie, Luce, Mama Grace, and Bill. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> so it's meandering. Julie, Luce, you feel like popping on and meandering with me for a bit? If so, you are here. Ah. Do, 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 do. Tuck and Patty, love them. Saw them yesterday, love them. Very cool and I love them. Good friends, good morning, Mama Grace. In the house, thank goodness she's in the house. We have a good time together. Last night we watched Descent of a Woman. I think if you were here last night, you heard that, so I'm repeating myself. And then last night, Carl Hess was on, and yes, let's give him a story. Pick out, pick out some poetry, and then we could send it to him. We could even, he could print it out, um, and we could have, and then we, but we could do it with different people. So we could pick poetry, because that's quicker, or a short story might be nice like really short story, like three pages long short stories. Why are these people, they text me. I don't even know who they're. Do you, it took me a long time to know that about texts, about um, filters, all messages, known senders, unknown senders. Who knew about unknown senders? I didn't. All of a sudden one day I had like 200 and something messages on my phone and I went, who are these people? Some of them I knew, some of them I were people that texted me, but it was their first time texting, and all of a sudden they were there. Very strange, I must say. Tina Tavolacci. Boy, I love her work. She's being shown at the Art, Krasl Art Center. Anyway, anyway, that was a car, uh, not a cartoon, but a, a comedic person did that. I don't remember who. So it's, I'm not trying to be funny or be like them. I just, I'm a, I'm a little bit of, 
at a loss for what to talk about. So I think we could probably make this a shorter show, a condensed show today. Tonight we'll be meditating. Tomorrow morning, um, tomorrow morning she's not going to be here. So that doesn't matter. Andy Rader tomorrow night. Wednesday morning, making and baking a fatty, making and baking a fatty. I think I'm going to make a chocolate cake. I have this craving for a chocolate cake. My mom had some chocolate cake the other night. And I have cocoa and gluten-free flour and all stuff to make chocolate cake. So I'm going to make a chocolate cake. I just decided that this very second. And maybe a smoothie to... And I'll probably put zucchini in my chocolate cake. Oops, did I say that out loud? I probably won't. Or black beans. Black beans are good in a chocolate cake. Makes it, it makes it more of a dense, um, not flourless feeling, but also super nutritious. And why not? Maybe chocolate cake and zucchini. <whistles> Jenna, don't do that to your people. I don't think. Anyone in my family would know if I put beans in a chocolate cake, cause you, cause you, um, you don't, you don't just put them in whole. You, you know, you mash them up, pulverize them. It's good. It's really good. Julie, Luce, are you gonna come visit? I want to see you. I want to hear about the girls. The girls. Maybe I'll put some oatmeal in the chocolate cake. Frosting. Maybe, if I get that far, because it's just chocolate cake by itself, it's just so good. Yeah, I'll probably frost it. I didn't put my, I didn't really put any makeup on today. I didn't do my little, didn't do my thing. Okay, let me do my thing real quick. Makeup, hair and makeup, please. Please. Thank you. Just being funny. Have a gig in a couple weeks. On the, not even a couple weeks, ten, nine days. At, um, in Baldwin, Michigan. And it's right behind Jones's ice cream. Good for you. Still in jammies. It's 8.15 and 8.20 in the morning. And you get to do laundry in your apartment, right? Yay! Like it's a really nice one, right? Yay! Is it going to be hot today? Jen Blanchard. No, it was just a, I didn't do anything today. So I was just, you know, doing that little highlighter. I guess I could do some makeup sometime. Mine's more skincare. I care more about the skincare than the makeup because I'm not a real makeup person. I do like to put on lip stuff. Why? What are you twerking? You're twerking right now? I'm twerking in a chair. Jen Blanchard. Louisiana. Plan is to be there in October. That's all I got to say. You need the oil? Yeah. The serum, the serum oil or the pain oil? Which one? Working equals twerking. Ah. How are you? She's a scientist. What is your actual title at your new job? Laundry and apartment. 102, wow. I'm really happy that you moved and that you're in a nice, safe environment. The face oil, okay. It's more, it's it's oil, but I, I, I kind of call it my serum, but yeah, it's, it's a face oil. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Instructor of horticulture. You could make your own face oil. 
you could be. You know what I'm saying? No makeup necessary. Ah, oh, Bill Dietrich, thank you. How are you? You're still here. You're still you're still in Facebook land. <laughs> I gotta get out to the farm. Gotta come check out what's going on. What's what's growing on? Ooh, ooh, medicinal plants program. I want to hear all about it. Come be on the show. When can you be on the show? It's 72 here at the moment. Weather forecast? It's currently clear and 75 degrees. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. That would be a good daytime thing, right? Okay. All right, well, Mondays are always good to have someone on because it's just me meandering. So if somebody wants to pop on right now, but um, Tuesdays are really good in the morning. Thursdays are an option and the rest of the mornings are kind of some Sundays, but right now, Alex, his name is Alex, but Al, Al, Alex, Alex, Alex is here this Sunday and I'm kind of thinking it might be a little bit of a thing because we had a really good time with him. And I think I think we'll get him to be doing some cannabinated baking. He made some baklava yesterday, canna baklava, and it was beautiful. And um, he's just a really, just a cool guy that I've known for many years and I love having him, I love hanging out with him. So I wanna share that with my people, with my friends. I don't say my people, I mean my connections. 1111 with Jenna is about community and connection. And that's what I like to do. Just connect people, make it fun. Anyway, yeah, so New Orleans, actually, will you be in? I need, I need hair and makeup now. Hair and makeup, lady. Thank you. Thank you, okay, you can stop now. Okay, thank you. peeps my peeps thank you William for posting more on YouTube um so yeah I need to figure out that it'd make it easier for you right if if we went live you can come out to the round barn sun Saturday afternoon oh how cool Saturday afternoon what time will you be there are you actually having a party or is there a, is there music going and you're just going to plan on being there? What's up? Give us the, the 411. What are you laughing about, girl? What's so funny? What's so funny? I'm hungry. Mama Grace, are you hungry? I'm thinking. I'm doing a training today that I'm taking um, and it's an hour and a half in front of here. I think I need to move my light. I think it's just a little too bright. My hair lady, she's, I know, she's a crack up. The makeup lady's a trip. That's why I just did what I did today. But, you know, she wants to, how do they say, beat your face. I'm going to make it all. I don't do that. Anytime after 11, I'll be out in the afternoon. Her daughter has things planned. Oh, it's an it's it's diving deep into a yoga particular practice that I study. So just more of just um, listening to him speak. Good stuff. Two things. It's called shadow yoga, and it's a a different. It's not a different philosophy, obviously, but it's different movements and micro movements and yeah, it's, it's something I've studied from afar. And when I saw the virtual, I was like, hello, anytime after 11, well, I can't do it at 11 because I have 11, 11 with, and this Saturday, and, and when I do, um, 
I go to the market. It's sort of been my thing. I go to the market either right before or right after 11-11. And well, it's happened twice. Folk Alliance International 2022 conference. Guys, really? Where's it gonna be? Oh, it's in, I think it's in Kansas City. It's a fun, really great conference. Actually, William, that's something you would super dig. Anybody would, vaccination required for all attendees. capacity, registration. This is a really interesting. Oh, Ooh. oh. Okay. It's um, seriously, William, you're such you're so into music and connecting. <sighs> That's funny. It's um, check out the Folk Alliance music festival it happens every two years and i'm thinking that it's going to be it's february february 23rd oh i can't do it this year it's usually in january because i'll be in mexico i want to go to mexico but but it's the folk alliance a lot, it's the international, it's every two years. I'm pretty sure that it's in Kansas City. Um, it's music from all over the world, music that you've most likely never heard before. And in the past, I'll just give you an example. New Orleans, for instance, one hotel, you walk in the lobby of the hotel, there's a string band playing over here and a bluegrass something playing over there from Australia. And then you sign in and then there are classes to take and showcases that are um, juried showcases from about, I don't know, 6 p.m. until 1030. And there are different, you know, and you get a th half an hour slot. So you play half, someone plays a half an hour and then someone else plays and they'll do like seven of those in different conference rooms. And then they have, they had, I don't know how they're gonna do it. Oh, it's a couple shower, right? I'm going to a couple shower on Saturday from my nephew and his fiance, Alex. That'll be fun, we're going to Sagatuck. Sagatuck, 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 Sagatuck. And then in the past, which I know for sure they won't be doing this again, they take over, I think four levels, like the eighth, through eighth, ninth, 10th and 11th floors of a hotel. And every room is a different showcase. Every room not only is a different showcase, it's you get to, you sign up, you pay, they're private showcases by like, Rolf and I will have a room and we'll, we'll perform at our showcase and we can perform, pick when we wanna perform. And then we have other people like Walter and a few other people come on and perform, Michael Doucet, and you get a half an hour slot. So you play for 20 minutes. Then you go to another one down the hall and you play, then you go up on the 10th floor and you play in another one. And it's, so you, you can play eight times because it starts at 10.30, I think, and goes till 3.30 in the morning. The last showcase is at 3.30 and, or is it four? It's craziness. So then the hallways, Imagine in a regular hotel, they're not, unless it's an old hotel, but the Sheraton is not that new, but it's not our, you know, it's like being in college in the dorms with instruments. And there are college kids there, but there are also seniors there with instruments, bass, basses and guitars. And, and then the, the hallways are plastered with posters. Come see us at 2 a.m. Come see us at midnight. Come see us. And it's music from everywhere. And you just, I have no idea how they're going to do it now. It's a little bit capacity and modifications. Oh, it's limited to 2,000 delegates. One third the reduction. 
Wow. So it's, you can see, you know, music go, go, going out of your pores by the time you're done and you get to meet cool people. And then when you're part of the delegates, they have a big party the last night and this past, two years ago it was in New Orleans and they had a big party with gumbo and, and you know, just a New Orleanian theme. It's incredible. It really is. And if there are only 2,000 attendees, which there are usually 6,000, I would say run because that's cool. And so is um, South by Southwest in New Orleans, but this is still small enough and more, um, there's a lot of international music that you've never heard or seen and they come from everywhere. So there's my plug, Folk Alliance, cool people and very caring. Like you, once you're in it, you know, you, it's, and it's a lot of troubadours, like singer songwriters that just blow your mind. It is incredible. I think you would really dig it. And I would have fun being there doing 11, 11, because I would interview a different somebody every, I'd probably do it every hour because there's some you just meet and do and, but I'll be in Mexico with Patty and maybe William, are you thinking Mexico? You should come. Come. Why not? Come. San Pancho Music Festival. Totally your thing. You could kind of do both. You could do, what's the dates? They said the 22nd. 23rd to the 27th. Maybe not. You can't do both, sorry. Unless you, well, you could you could do the 23rd and the 24th, fly to Mexico on the 25th and be there the 26th and 27th. Because the festival happens on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is another incredible festival that I'm a part of that um, is, it's amazing. They're, they start at 5 p.m. They go till midnight-ish, so more like 12.45. And they'll have a band play on, I think they start on the big stage. Do they start on the small stage? There are two stages, right? Like in an L shape. One, one is here and then the people are here and then another stage here. So then these people here turn. And they start at 5 p.m. and go till 5.45. And then there's a 15 minute change and then the other stage music all night long, all night long, Friday, all night long, all night long, Saturday, all night long. And you don't even have to move if you, unless you want to go get food and buy cool stuff and candy. You can just, you can move if you want, or you can turn your head or you can just move your chair. Me, I just walk, I walk around, I walk, I hang out. It's it's a community of people that I really love to be a part of and and I will be there and Patty and Rob and Carol and maybe Steph. Stephanie, come to Mexico. All right, kids. Well, I'm hungry and I have to start my training at 1 p.m. So I am going to bid you adieu for the day. And if you do have a letter, I will I will sing your letter today. I'm still working on the X in my head because not too many words that mean something about the heart. I'm sure there is, I just haven't, I didn't explore because I have other things I'm doing like I need to wash a couple of coffee cups. Except they're not coffee cups, they're just cups. I have to wash some cups so I can drink my water and lemon. R. Julie, Julie, Julie. She's doing laundry. Julie, Julie, Julie. In her jammies. Julie, Julie, Julie. Has a great heart. And I wish. Those rousing thoughts just calm down in your mind. And those realistic words come out of your mouth. 
like wind chimes and your heart is romantic and your heart is realistic and i hope that you have a beautiful day yes i hope that all of you have a beautiful day stay safe stay healthy be real nice and wear a mask see you in a second mom grace love heart thank you so much for being here real heart